welcome to the first part of my lecture on connected dominating sets and its applications. No prior knowledge of graph theory is needed to understand this lecture. In this lecture, I will first discuss the fundamental concepts of dominating sets. Then I will talk about minimum connected dominating sets. In the second part of the lecture, I will discuss a greedy algorithm for finding minimum connected dominating sets. Then I will also explain some of the applications. A dominating set D for a graph G is a set in which each vertex of G is either in D or adjacent to some vertex in D. The minimum size of a dominating set of vertices in G is called domination number of the graph G. The dominating set problem concerns finding a minimum dominating set. Now let us look at an example. In figure one, the green vertices two and three are clearly members of a dominating set as every vertex that is not in the dominating set two comma three is adjacent to either two or three. For example, let us look at vertex one. Vertex one is clearly adjacent to vertex two. Similarly, vertex six is adjacent to vertex three, which is also a member of the dominating set two comma three. So any vertex which is not a member of the dominating set two comma three is adjacent to either two or three. Now let us talk about connected dominating sets. A connected dominating set of a graph G is a dominating set D whose induced subgraph is also connected. An induced subgraph is a subset of vertices of a graph G together with any edges whose endpoints are both in this subset. A minimum connected dominating set of a graph G is a connected dominating set with the smallest possible cardinality among all connected dominating sets of G. The connected domination number of G is the number of vertices in the minimum connected dominating set. Now let us look at the same example. The induced subgraph by the dominating set 2 comma 3 is shown in figure 1b which is clearly a connected dominating set. Now let me talk about bipartite graph and set covering problem. Now the connected dominating set problem is to find a minimum connected dominating set. Finding a minimum connected dominating set is known to be an NP-complete problem. What does it mean? This essentially means that these class of problems cannot be solved quickly, that is, in polynomial time. Several authors have proposed algorithms for obtaining approximate minimal connected dominating sets. The problem of finding a minimum connected dominating set can be mapped into a set covering problem. The set covering problem is essentially a problem concerning bipartite graphs that can be stated as follows. Suppose that H is a bipartite graph consisting of two sets of nodes A and B, where edges only make connections between A and B. Also, assume that for each node in B, there is at least one edge connecting to a node in A. The goal is to find a minimal subset C of A such that every node in B is covered by, that means adjacent to some node in C. The bipartite vertex 
covering problem can be addressed using a greedy algorithm, which will be explained in the next lecture. At each stage, a vertex from A is elected that covers as many vertices from B as possible that are not yet covered by an elected vertex. Let us look at the following example. Let G be a connected graph where V represents the set of vertices and E represents the set of edges. Let A and B are copies of vertices of E. Now construct a bipartite graph H by putting an edge between vertices V of A and U of B if they are adjacent to each other. Now let me explain the construction of the bipartite graph H. Now A represents the set of all vertices of the graph G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. B also represents the set of all vertices from G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we put an edge between uh, vertex, a vertex from A to a vertex from B if they are adjacent to each other in the original graph. So now 1 is clearly adjacent to 1, so we put an edge between 1 from A to 1 from B. Then look at 1 again. 1 is adjacent to 2, that's why we put an edge between 1 and 2. 1 is adjacent to 5, so that's why we put an edge between 1 and 5. Now let us look at the vertex 2. 2 is adjacent to 1, 2 is adjacent to 2, and 2 is also adjacent to 3, and 2 is also adjacent to 5. That's why we put edges between them. Then look at vertex number 3. Vertex number 3 is adjacent to 2, vertex number 3 is adjacent to 3, and vertex number 3 is also adjacent to 4, and vertex number 3 is also adjacent to vertex number 6. So that's why we put age, ages between them. Then let's look at vertex number 4. Vertex number 4 is adjacent to 3, vertex number 4 is adjacent to 4, vertex number 5 is adjacent to 1, Vertex number 5 is adjacent to 2. Vertex number 5 is adjacent to 5. And vertex number 5 is also adjacent to 6. Now let's look at vertex number 6. Vertex number 6 is adjacent to vertex number 3. Vertex number 6 is adjacent to vertex number 5. And vertex number 6 is adjacent to vertex number 6. This is how we construct the bipartite graph H. In the second part of this lecture, a greedy algorithm will be discussed to find a minimum connected dominating set. So please check out the next video and thanks for watching.